Hi, I'm Christian, aka Snakebird, and welcome to my channel. Numbers define who we are, so you should hit that subscribe button to help me feel better about myself. My lifelong dream is to surpass ninjas and subscribers, so you should really hit that button to help me out. Please enjoy the video, and remember, bigger number, better person. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, welcome back. I go back inside Masquerade. Actual final chapter this time. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, this is the final chapter, but it's yeah, the final final, final part, yeah. maybe part, final confrontation. The voice calls from the darkest darkness as if it was waiting for me. I like her glitch effect. <laughs> yeah. What are you telling me to do? Go to the sixth floor, perhaps? Oh, you see the red thread of fate, right? Top floor in the room of masks. We shall fight! Top floor. How do we get there? The sixth floor was listed on the guide, but it was impossible to reach. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Oh, okay. Well, now we have to actually do the paint, the painting thing. Red Riding's hood's figure melts silently into the elevator. As she does, the elevator's floor display begins blinking on and off erratically. Ooh. She became one with the elevator? Combination. You know it, don't you, sir? Oh, it's a combination. Your voice reverberates throughout the elevator. Okay, let's try the elevator she's telling me to go to her. But this combination, what in the world could that be? Okay, I'll try it. Elevator. Oh, we pressed the numbers. I figured it in the elevator. Oh, sorry. Top floor begins. Display begins to blink on and off erratically. Is that some kind of hint? In that word, she used combination. I stare at the elevator buttons. Maybe I'm supposed to push these in a certain combination. If I press the top the floor runs in a certain order, I might be able to get to the sixth floor. Oh, I guess I was wrong the entire time. That episode is terrible then. But what's the order? I've got no idea. I've got to think. There has to be have been some clue somewhere inside Masquerade. New info was added to the bigger bottom of the elevator. I mean you're right though. We just have to use the combination. Okay, so let's see. It's the the running one, right? That's fourth. Mm, oh yeah, the girl is fourth. The fifth one is with the child. Oh, that, okay, that's all I need then. So then, because it's, uh, second floor is the, uh, is the, um, what's it called? She sees a guy. First floor is that she gets married. Third floor is she has a cane. Oh, okay. So third floor is last. So it's fourth, first. And then, which one's? There's one for the first, fourth floor. And then we're gonna go, uh, Which one is the one where she... Where she, she meets the guy? Yeah. She meets the guy second. on... Because the first one is a wedding. Yes, you're right. Second floor, then she gets married on the first. Yeah. Going for the first then floor, then she gets a child. child on the fifth. Yeah. And then third is the uh, cane, cane, right? Yeah. Please be right. Nice. Yeah, see. Okay. Just too good. Just too good. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> good thing we don't need to go looking at all of them again. We're professionals. <laughs> The elevator door opens and a musty stench greets me. But that's not all. The smell is blood. Mm. Sir. Red Riding Hood's voice drifts on the wind. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. No, I'm. I doubt my words will reach her, but I feel like I have to at least say it. I'm not the one you respect. I'm not the one you're waiting for. That's a K drama. <laughs> Liar. You always lie. I'm not lying. I'm really not. <coughs> Let's fight me. You, you should fight me then. How about that? A scream splits the night. It's the same one I heard during the spider torture. Aww. Stop. Stop this. This won't accomplish anything. <laughs> That's why this time I'm going to test you. Tell me the truth. Spiders? Yep. Oh. Probably oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's kind of... That's a nice design, you know? Does that hurt? Yeah, it's okay. That's a very nice design, I must say. Oh, deliver dice? Not that's not very fight. final bossy. I like that. That's, that's creative. Countless spiders fly out of the darkness and start crawling all over my body. This form of spiders keeps coming. It's finally time. Oh, wait. 
Oh yeah? <laughs> massager. How about that? How about that, huh? I take out the massager out of my bag, hold it against my body, and hit the switch. This worked before. The spiders started acting strangely. They all scramble away. Nice. That's right. Red Riding Hood lets out a gusty sigh. Glittering white threads fly through the air from her mouth. She's trying to use her spider silk. <laughs> Think you're Spider-Man? Spider-Gwen? Jacket. Jacket. My shield. Shield! I quickly take off my jacket and weave it around, trying to shake off the spider silk. But the threads start wrapping around my feet you know, until they're finally covering my whole body. Oh, no. And we lose because of Vivian once again. <laughs> oh, the horse man? Oh, maybe? Horse head? Okay. No, no, wait. As in, oh, that's what it was. The horse head. Strangely enough, the threads seem drawn to it and only wrap around the horse head. Because like the myth, right? Is you use that as like a substitute for yourself. Whoa, it's been Oh yeah, I forgot this was how the game was. I'm sorry. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> That's for the law! Red Riding Hood is staring at me. Sir, come with me. The only thing that matters is your life. First one, life isn't that cheap or how do you know a person's worth? First one. How do you know a person's worth? Is that wrong? Red Riding Hood screams again, then her maddening eyes glare at me. Does her face transform? No. Sir, <laughs> you threaten your head! <laughs> it's like... How do I look to you? Extremely attractive. You're a woman, you're a woman! Righteous. Women like righteousness, okay? That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary! So is this not- Kill. Kill. She's not the traitor? Together. Red Riding Hood's figure wavers then. It's not done yet? Smash through the window and off into the night. What? Did she just jump? The bustling city can be held hurt out the window. I wet my sweaty brow with my shirt sleeve. Something touches my cheek. Something's floating in the darkness. Red? As I follow it with my eyes, I realize that it's wrapped around my wrist. Whoa. She's getting pulled away. <laughs> Boss fight number two? Something yanks me towards the window. What could it be next episode? Maybe you'll find out. Pretty sure. Well, I don't think it's the real one. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe this could be the end of the game right here, you know? And then, yeah. <laughs> uh, good. I raise my legs and try to resist. But all in vain. I'm thrown out with the night sky. I mean, the, the actual fight would probably be like how we usually fight, right? Yeah, I scream as I plummet, but we'll see. No, I should be rushing toward the ground. What happened? Just as I give up all hope. Oh! A strong jolt makes me look up! That's a good drawing. A man ho struggles to hold my arm, his teeth gritting with effort. Smash Come on! You! <laughs> Mashta! Stop, I don't want any headaches! Get out of here! <laughs> Shut up and give me other arm! Hurry up, grab onto me! Right. And we'll have to wait, so... <laughs> oh, he desperately tries to pull me up, and after what feels like an eternity of struggling, I make it over the ledge and tum tumble safely back inside the hotel. How did he know how to get to the sixth floor? He must have known the combination, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> the only so sound that can be heard is our gasps for breath as we sit in the darkness.
Why did you ignore my orders? Master spits words out between wheezes. Sorry. This isn't the time to make excuses. I might be better off shutting up. Idiot. Try putting yourself in my shoes. Is she gone? I think so. The window? I'm still trembling as I point to the broken window. I think we're done. Maybe, actually, I don't know. She threw herself out of it. She might have been trying to take me with her. No, not you. That sir person. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Can you walk? Then let's go. Who is a sir person? I don't know. Nash just slowly stands and looks at me. Nicely done. That wasn't bad work for an amateur like you. I think we're done the game? It's about the two minute episode? You don't think there's more? Oh, well, there's probably like an explanation. It stopped raining. The cool wind on my cheek hints at autumn. I'm going to drop by and see Daimon. I'd like to see how the others are doing. Yeah. What? Hand me the car key. <laughs> no, I can drive. <laughs> Have you completely gone mad? Look at your hands. I glance down at them, only to suddenly realize they're still shaking. You just face down a spirit. You can't drive on that condition. Choice made for me, I take the key out of my pocket and toss it to Mashida. The corner parking lot. Right. Look at me, I'm so peaceful. You rest here. <laughs> He's leaving us here again. <laughs> yeah, basically. His figure melts to the darkness. As I watch him go, I notice something down on the wet asphalt. It's a spider? Yeah, a lowly spider. Spider spirit? Perhaps? Mayhaps? Mm, a dead spider? Dead spider. He lay there, legs all curled up, as almo almost as if it was desperately trying to hold on to something. Are you satisfied now? Then let's go home. I gently pick the spider up. What? I wrap it in my handkerchief and put it in my pocket. That is so creepy. He's bringing the spider home? Also, how does it like preserve itself? Spiders are pretty like fragile. Oh, in a car. Okay. Oh, not the car scene. <laughs> the car ride back is a blur. I sat and then let Mashed's voice wash over me like background radio noise. I remember wondering if Red Riding Hood might have stolen a part of my soul. Before the investigation today, Moe tipped us off on that testimony, remember? It helped me connect the dots. I realized the teacher was wrapped up in the case. A teacher from the, a teacher from the school near the hotel was arrested for breaking the law. That's... What does that have to do with anything? It was an all important Aiko's testimony. They were scared they'd be reported, but nothing ever happened. In other words, Esco never went to the police after tattling to the teacher. Or well, maybe more, she couldn't go. I frown as I try to put the piece together. I think I'm too spaced out as it's not making any sense. You'd never make it as a detective. Oh. Oh, wait, don't, that's Master. Can't you just drop that? I don't plan on becoming one anyway. Fair enough. There's only one possible answer. The sir person Esco trusted so deeply was one of Masquerade's customers. What? I feel like I've been hit up the side of the head, with, not with a pillow, more like a lead pipe. The one she sought salvation from ended up being a criminal. The definition of irony. Mashta glances out the window and chuckles dryly. The bitter sound fits both our moods. It was the teacher and Mura, the one that mentioned Aiko's testimony. I saw a photo of him. He was tall, thin, tall, type popular with students. Well, I suppose? He glances back at me through the mirror. You might say he wasn't too unlike you. Hey! Oh, okay. What do you mean? I'm not a criminal. Mash just suddenly tosses a file at me. Those are the research results. Look them over if you want to know more. Results? I flipped through a thick bundle of paper. They're a set of very well organized documents. It would have taken a lot of time to gather this amount of information. Then it hits me. Wait a second. Mash just said that he connected the dots with the help of Moe's testimony. Which means he knew all of this before we started our investigation tonight. You knew everything? I just said I put it all together when I heard the testimony. But I decided not to tell you, just in case. Why? If I had known, I could've... What would you have done? His tone turns mocking as he laughs. You would've just sympathized too much and let your guard down. You should be grateful I didn't. Okay. Okay. Mary? No, I'm just kidding. Asha leaves me with the research file and heads to Diamond's hospital. Now that I'm alone, I can't keep my three hospitalized friends out of my mind. But there's nothing I can do for them right now. I've done everything I can. I bolster myself with that information. I spread Mashta's documents out on the table. I'm exhausted, but I feel like I need to go through them today. 
Who in the world was Red Riding Hood? If Master was right, the truth should be right in front of me. You and Pose has this being found, Master. Just before. not done yet. Nope. <laughs> Let's go through the mall. This one is so long. Yup, it's the long. It has to be the longest one. Rest for today. Uh, oh wait, wait, no, it's it's there. It's there. Oh, Chapter six, Little Red Riding Hood end. Kind of. Hopefully, I did. Oh, so. Nope, and so the case suddenly su su surrounding Masquerade quietly comes to a close, leaving an invisible scar on the dark secret street. Sorry. The lives lost there will never return, and neither will their trampled dignity. I lost something as well. Hiru, Banshee, and Cho's conditions worsened after that. They were immediately transferred to a larger hospital. Because of that, they narrowly escaped death, but their psyches will forever remain forever damaged. According to Daimon, the chances of them ever recovering are very thin. To have this happen to people who were only trying to lend me a hand. Well, Sho? Who was it, Sho? Hmm? Sho, Banshee, and, um, Hiru. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better if I just died from the fall of Masquerade's window. I struggled to get through each and every day. If this is Red Riding Hood's revenge, then I can admit it that it's effective. I can't beat it. A week later? Oh, what's well, not it? Jama Suruzo. Coming in. Mash just suddenly shows up on my doorstep again. Before I even open my mouth, he pulls out an envelope and tosses it on the table. I'm here to, to deliver it. This, it's your reward. What a joke. What a joke. Rewarded for letting that happen to my friends. How should I know? The client asked me to do this, if that's all. I did my such a job and handed it over. The rest is in your hands. Damn, what a pain. Master turns and curses under his breath, but I can still hear everything he says. <laughs> that's all you came for? No, there's one other thing. I learned something from this past case. And what's that? Power of friendship. Something about you. You're suited for this work after all. Oh no. <laughs> that again? What happened? Sorry, but I'm done. No more. Just hear me out. There have been more mysterious cases like masquerades popping up lately. I thought it might be mock related, but it seems that I like I wasn't wrong. He stops for a moment and mutters, Kiyaki Yagyo, a monster's parade. No! <laughs> have you heard anything about it? Uh, Kiyaki Yagyo. Wait, so there's another chapter? Yeah, sure, in ghost stories. Wait, <laughs> no, no, no. But you're clearly asking about something that's happening in the real world. No, no, it's not. There can't be. No, I, I literally looked it up. There isn't. Oh. No, I haven't. Okay, okay. Ah, so I figured you of all people. Forget it. First he asks me, then he tells me to forget it. He only cares about his own bottom line. But we have a demon. What is the demon like book? I don't know. She... Mashta glances briefly at the sofa in the corner of the room. Might have known something. <laughs> yeah, 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 100 demons. <laughs> that's, a, that's like the best buddy fight either. Sorry. Sorry, but I can't. I just don't have the energy. I'm not saying right now. I'm sure Yasuoko will wait until you're 100%. I'm not pushing you either. That's all I wanted to say. So we never like concluded the like she just lives and she just goes about whatever she wants to do? Wait, what? The red riding hood. Well she's gone. She left. Is that what? Well she's dead. She She's a spider? Yeah, that was her. So why did she die? We didn't Not jumped out the window? Oh. Quit doing stuff like that. Like what? You picked up that dead spider, didn't you? You saw? I'm just out of the corner of my eye. That's why darkness follows you. Your ancestors probably had pity on her too. The living and the dead can't coexist. If you try to accept their feelings, you'll just end up getting pulled in. Even so... <laughs> Master might be right, but even so... Even if, if someone doesn't accept them, they'll stay like that forever. That's not something I want to bear. Master just snorts this up der derisively, derisively, and like usual, like usual. give it some thought. Even if you don't want it, the time may come one day. He leaves, closing the door behind him. The, the, that marks the end of the case and the end of one chapter in my six chapter story. Wow. But someday in the future, I can't help but think that door will be thrown open again. Wow, the door's iconic. Yes, we did it! I'm sorry, Nicole, we're not playing Blake. Like, uh, that's it for the Spirit Hunter death mark. Mm -hmm. that, like, that's it. Completed. <laughs> like, forever. Completely. That's actually the first one that's done on my account. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, Fire Emblem's still going. I decided I'll drop, like, one level every, like, couple of months mm -hmm. with uh, Nicorne over here. <laughs> wow. 
but that's basically okay. it. Yeah, the last one wasn't that bad. It was pretty long. That was so long. That was yeah, like, was dude, really that was long. like might have been the, even the hardest one, honestly. Yeah. There were so many things to do. Yeah. I'm pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Everybody had a cameo. Every single character had I to know. come back once. That was crazy. Yeah. Well, we didn't see everyone, but they yeah. at least like were spoken about or whatever. So. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Too bad they're the three people aren't like alive and well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Yeah, they they're just they're forever just, in the hospital. Yeah, like this is the good ending, and they're just like yep. not okay. Yep. Which is bad. All right. Have a good day, Dean Chase. Goodbye. See you next time.